Hi, welcome to episode 14 of the Knitted Digit Podcast. I'm your host, Jay, and if you are new, welcome. I'm so glad you found me, and if you are returning, again, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Um, I wanted to first do some thank yous before I go on with the regular show. Um, I wanted to first say thank you to Dawn from the Wolf Farms uh, podcast, Knit and Wolf. She uh, did a shout out on her on her podcast for last week or beginning of this week, and um, I haven't watched it yet. But she uh, kind of ear burned me and let me know that she talked about me, and it 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 just made my heart go, you know, e that uh you know I didn't I didn't even ask her. She found me, and she, you know she's great. Thank you so much, Dawn. Um, And I even, so I started watching her podcast, so we kind of mutually found each other, and I got a sample of her lotion, and I'm loving it. It's Fresh Cut Roses, so she makes, she and her husband, excuse me, they make uh, hand and body lotion and soaps and um, bath salts, I think, and I think candles, I'm not sure, but... um, I I usually like more um, handmade lotions than actual commercial, even though I really should wear commercial lotions because I have very sensitive skin. But this has not affected me, and I've used it for a couple of days now. And I used her a sample of her soap, and that has not um, that has not uh, affected me at all. So, and the, I said it was fresh cut roses, right? Yeah. So, and it smells really nice. Very, very delicious. So, thank you very much, Dawn. Um, I also want to give another shout out. Thank you to um, one of my watchers, one of my viewers. Um, a yarn goes on. She, she was very sweet. And I, so, was it Monday? at the beginning of this week, I come home and I get this package, and I'm thinking, I haven't ordered anything online in a while. What, what, what's going on? And, uh, it was, it was from, it was from her, and, you know, just with the sweetest note ever, just, again, filled my heart and made it go, and, uh, you know, she, she wanted me to have, this beautiful, beautiful, I, I guess it's a stitch marker or a key, key, uh, key ring. It's really pretty. And then, um, this. It's, this is the Hue Sobe Collection. Uh oh, there he. It's really pretty. And I'm like, oh, I've never heard of Hugh, so I'm kind of excited. I may put this on. So, uh, next week. So, this one is called Lincoln Road. I'm not sure what the theme is, I'll have to look it up more. Oh, and by the way, I found out my my camera does not uh, focus. There is no focus. <laughs> so, and if you're noticing the lighting's kind of off and uh, it doesn't seem like it's daytime, it's not daytime. Um, I t- I'll explain in the et cetera, et cetera. But basically, I'm podcasting at night today this week. So, I'll explain more in et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is called. Collins Avenue, and I wish it's not this orange. It's actually more of a coral. Um, there you go. Um, and it has this very nice, it's not that orange, trust me. It has a very pretty, like, there's a shimmer in here. It's, if I had sun, you would probably see it. And it's not this orange. It's more of a neon coral. And then the third one looks like a minty, this is called Ocean Drive. 
And this one, actually, yeah, the color is pretty true. Well, maybe. It's making it more blue. It's a minty green. It's a minty blue-green. So I'm excited to try these. I'm very excited to try these. So thank you very, very much. And it just, the note was very sweet. And it just reminded me of why, why I'm doing this. It's just reaching out to people and just, yeah. It just, it was, it was a great, really great surprise. And if I had gotten it at the end of the week, I probably would have been even more gushy. Because <laughs> this week was just kind of like varying in poopiness. So, not poopiness, just tiredness. So, it meant a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, you guys. It was, it was, you, you guys don't have to send me anything. I... I mean, I appreciate it. I am so thankful for my viewers and for, you know, just giving grateful people. I just, it just reminds me that there are good people in the world when you kind of go through and you just sometimes have these days where you just question humanity. These moments just make me remember that there, there is good, good humans out there. So... Yeah, thank, thank you so much. Uh, all right, so now that we're done with the thank yous, I guess, I guess I have a giveaway. I know I should wait until the end of the episode, but I, I this time I think I'll, I'll be nice and I will uh, get, do the giveaways now. And then uh, if you guys decide, you don't know, wanna watch any further, I deeply understand. All right. So I did a random number generator before because I figured it's just easier to do it um, beforehand, um, before doing it while on air so that way it cuts time and you're not just going crazy and thinking, dude, just pick the number already. And, you know, I was just, I would have had to do it with my Kindle or my iPhone. And it was just, eh. I don't want to deal with it, but just know that I am an honest person, and I really did use the ran random number generator, and um, that, you know, less suspense, I guess. Um, so the first giveaway for, first Purple Goddess giveaway, which is for the stitch markers, and let me pull it out. Uh, this again. Alright. So, I pulled it. It was from 2 to 18. And it was number 6. Eichel Knitter. Eichel Knitter? I-K-K-L-E-K-N-I-T-T-E-R. So, congratulations. You have stitch markers. So, PM me on Ravelry and with your address. And I will send it out to you. All right. All right. The second one was for the pink and blue shock, which I found out was an exclusive colorway for me. I didn't know that. So um, Alicia Purple Goddess posted a picture in the thread. So technically she was number 19, but I don't think she wants to win her own yarn. So I did another 2 to 18. And let me show it to you again. So this is an exclusive colorway for me. So you guys are, the winner is very lucky to get this because I should have kept this one, but oh well. Um, and I, I, I think I decided this should be my, this should be the podcast theme color. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so, all right. I guess I should tell you the winner. So 2 to 18, and I got number 15, which is Apple 380. So congratulations, Apple 380. You won the exclusive Nitty Digit J colorway pink and blue shock. Enjoy. Um, and I guess I should have gotten your names. I'm sorry, you guys. I, I kind of quickly did this because I wanted to get... I wanted to record and put the giveaways out, and I just quickly put the screen names. So, 
just know that I'm very happy that you won Apple 380 and I kick I go knitter um oh there's a third one isn't there sorry for the rustle the last one deep purple fog it's so pretty huh at night it, it does kind of look more royal purple um all right and both by the way are in stuff a, stuff a sock in a base merino merino nylon all right you guys so again two through 18 and it you it's random but somehow i wanted to go one number up which is 16 which is knit and wolf dawn from wolf farms so congratulations dawn this is it is fate saying giving you a thank you for being such a wonderful woman and here you get yarn so congratulations um and again it's just, just random number generators odd so all right so thank you guys so much for um participating and um I'm just thinking of ideas and thoughts for when we do our knit along and paint along for the prizes. Um, so I definitely think that I'm going to do two, well, I mean, depending on how many people get involved and get involved and whatnot, there's not much chatter right now, but um, I'm hoping there will be more. I posted a little bit in there of ideas and um just thought thoughtage <sighs> oh my brain. um just ideas about you know what 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 you can do in regards to um nail art and children's literature and um i found some really fun things and honestly google is your friend google is your friend all i did for some of those links was I did Maurice Sendak nail art and I found boom exactly and just went to the image tab so Google is your friend in that aspect so um, I'm gonna keep going more um, I'm I'm gonna try to see if I can look up for more knitting patterns this week for you guys so that way it's not just nails it's also knitting so yeah I mean, let me know what you guys are thinking. I Iggy Star mentioned some books that I completely forgot and just loved was Beverly Cleary. Oh my goodness. Um, and Piggly Wiggly. Um, I see that I don't know. That I don't I don't I think I read one and anti Piggy Wiggly. I think that's the name. But it reminded me of um, of Amelia Bedelia. Oh my god, I I I actually learned how to read with Amelia Bedelia, but I kept tripping over the words. And my sister, who's three years older than me, finally just got <laughs> sidetracked. Story. She she got she got so not frustrated and mad, but it was more kind of like to help me out. She said, "Just call it A B." So whatever I think of Amelia Bedelia, I just think A B did this. So. I actually still, when I find Amelia Bedelia and I read it, I actually in my head still read AB. Thank you, sister. But yeah, so um, I'm still thinking of prizes for that. Um, probably, you know, just yarn and nail polish, that sort of thing. Um, but I'm still trying to work out the structure in my head. So I'll give you more details once we get closer to the start, which is July. We are running from July through the end of August. So, yep. Yeah, it's going to be a fun time, you guys. <sighs> anyway, all right. Let's get to the usual, usual stuff, which is first knitting. What is on my needles? Well, technically, there is a project that is off my needles, and that is the Elizabeth Zimmerman pie shop. But I don't have it to show it for you. Um, and the reason is because it's blocking right now. And I'll show you pictures of that um, at the end, of course. Um, and it's being blocked very, 
unconventionally because I don't have any blocking wires. I actually never had blocking wires. I used to just do, you know, pins and, and whatnot. But when I moved, I lost them. So I, I use cups and bowls. <laughs> So I did, I actually finished that this morning. I got it just under the wire. Um, yeah, that was fun. And I, I think it turned out really nice and I'm very excited. I don't, it's not big enough. I don't think, I mean, I've been stretching it out when I blocked it, but it's not, it's not as big as I thought it would be. So meh, it's okay. It'll still keep me warm or maybe it will be a very decorative, uh, table runner or something I don't know or decorative a uh, couch piece who knows but I think it's beautiful all right so still no work on my lace lace and cable socks from uh, Wendy Johnson from the socks from the toe up book um, I haven't done any work on the um, traditional Gansey sock again from uh, Socks from the Toa by Wendy Johnson because, uh, I, you know, I would have been done with the pie shell sooner if I didn't get sucked into a huge thing at work. So I actually have had no energy to knit and, um, and all the energy I've, I've been putting in was actually in my self-striping socks which i will show you in a bit um so but i didn't even knit much of this anyway i i you know when when i would get on the bark on the bark train i actually just closed my eyes and fell asleep while reading while listening to an audiobook so i should have been much more up I would have, I should have done a lot more knitting than I had, but um, I did some progress on it. So here they are. So I'm on the. I just started the heel. Um, again, these these are um, the pattern is my favorite vanilla socks by Elizabeth Suarez. Uh, the yarn is Friday 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 Studios. I always want to say Friday night, you know, because Friday Night Lights the moon. It was a movie. I watched the TV show because yeah, I love that show. Um, Friday, Friday Studio, Fiber Arts. Okay. And it's the colorway Hawaii. And wow, nighttime. <laughs> better light, a little bit better lighting. Although it makes my forehead shiny. Um, so yeah, I think I think if I was not as tired and I knit it more, I think I would have been at least to the gusset, but shoulda, woulda, coulda. So at least I got some progress on it. And I knit some for my, my hangout with Madame Lederhosen, which um, we are going to start up another group. In our area so if you side note if you guys are from the Oakland San Francisco well I guess San Francisco would be too far but if you're in the Oakland East Bay area and you're wanting a uh, stitch and bitch on Thursdays uh, PM me on Ravelry and we will figure out um, where we want to hang out because she Madame later Hosen and I have decided that Although we love each other's company, we need we need more groups. <laughs> we need more people, um, and so we need we need the peeps. So she, we're figuring out where to meet up, because that was that was the thing is where we used to hang out closed down, and we haven't figured out a place where it's not too loud or you have to pay for food. So we're still figuring out. But anyway, PM me if you're interested and if you're in the Oakland Bay area, East Bay area, and uh, we'll discuss. But anyway, sorry. <sighs> My brain is fried, so I apologize for the scatteredness. But here we go. Here's another view. 
because that's all you're going to get from the knitting. Sorry, guys. <sighs> Sorry. My, my mojo, the mojo, and this morning, you know, I worked on the pie shawl, and I did a little bit more on the self-striping, and I should have worked on my Lisa Souza stuff, but my Lisa Souza, Wendy Johnson stuff, but I wanted the, I wanted to finish the pie shawl for you guys, and I wanted, I really want to finish this at the end of June, so that way I can do another pair of socks for July. So, I have a goal, and it's gonna get there. Anyway, so that has been my knitting, and I know I don't have to apologize, I don't, I can, I will stop apologizing for you guys, to you guys, because, I mean, I can't help it. You know, when, when you're actually using your brain cells, sometimes the mojo dies. So, alright, let's talk books. Now, book talk is going to be a little bit different today, um, because, as I said, my brain cells have been a little fried, and I didn't, I I couldn't think of a theme other than children's literature because I know we're going through that, um, but I didn't have time to go to the library to pick out more books. Um, that will be for next week because I know I will have time to go over there. Um, and I I like to use this segment as a way to um, use my librarian muscle because what I do is basically what librarians call reader advisory lists. So if you... Um, if you go up to the reference desk at your local library and you know you just read this amazing book uh, it's a mystery and you really want to keep with that theme you just you're you're you really want to keep going with that theme um, of course not all librarians read everything um, so a lot of reference librarians will start will create a list for certain genres and you know, that involves being more in tune with books, reading up, um, looking at reviews and, and whatnot. There's there's a specific, you know, there's spe specific uh, places that you go called uh, book, there's book lists, which you may have seen because you've seen uh, reviews and there's, there's others. So that, with those, they compile a reader advisory list. Um, and that is what I've been doing lately for, for book talk. Um, but tonight it's just going to be what I've been reading <laughs> because that is as much as my brain cells can do at the moment. Uh, so let me, I just, so I do a combo, uh, now of listening to books and reading books because I just, my, my appetite for books have just gotten bigger and bigger so I just want to be surrounded by books all the time so I just finished listening to The Great Gatsby which I should have waited a little bit so that way my memory from the movie could have been separated from the book because I I kept imagining the movie and saying hey that didn't happen in the movie which I usually do I usually give myself a little bit of time but since Audible is so accessible now, rather than, oh, book, I have, you know, yeah, so I just finished that, and I'm starting to read, I'm starting to listen to The Life of Elizabeth I by Alison Weir, um, and that's actually very enjoyable, um, and then, which, it, you know, interestingly enough, it's themed. <laughs> I'm I'm almost done with Ken Follett, The Pillars of the Earth. I think I showed you guys this. It is taking me a while <laughs> to read this book. I think the last time I showed you guys this was when I started in February. Yes, it's nine hundred nine over nine hundred pages, and I also do a book club, so I've had to pause reading this and going and reading my book club books because, you know, it's not as fun discussing the book if you haven't read it, correct? So, and it, 
it's not it's not what I thought it was gonna be that doesn't mean it's bad it just it was different than what I thought it was gonna be but I'm here if you want to look see this kind of that's my bookmark this is the end of the book I'm almost there I can taste it I would say I have I have over I have a hundred pages left um, now most people would say just stop reading the book life is too short to read bad books why is it taking to you so long if you don't you obviously don't like it no no I, I actually do enjoy it it again it's not what I thought it was gonna be so I was trying to explain this to Madame Later Hosen a few days ago, and I hopefully will be able to explain it to you now. Um, books, there's popular fiction, which is fine and dandy and great. Then there's what most people call literature. I like to call it literature because I'm a dork. Um, so when I was first brought up, not brought up, but when my attention first came upon this book, it was the newer edition. It was the second print where it was very artsy cathedral, um, I think gold lettering, and it was longer. It was longer in size. It was still thick, but it was longer. Does that make sense? I'm debating if I want to pull a book. It's over there, but I may crash and drop the camera. Uh, never mind. But you get what I mean? So look at this book. This is the first print. It's about how a normal popular fiction book would be. Like, like a, you know, think of like a, the, the words. It, like Tom Clancy. Be, Although they've been printing Tom Clancy in a longer stock. Yeah. But you get what I mean. It's 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 wider, it's longer. It's longer. So that literature, if you if you go, if you go and, and if you go to a bookstore and you go to a classic literature or literature section, and then you go to popular fiction. Notice the sizes of the books. I I think they're changing it now. The publishing world is changing it now so that both popular fiction and literature are the same size, either because of m money or something like that. But if it, I think it's you can still see the difference of popular fiction are short and squatter. That is a remnant of when the printing press came out with what they call penny dreadfuls where it was cheaper to print cheaper on paper so that's why they were a penny and that most of those books were more popular more what you call dramatic just not not thomas aquinas you know it wasn't it wasn't um you know utopia well, I mean, when Utopia was published, it was in a hardback and it was smaller, but you get, you get my drift, you know? So when I was, so I bought it, I bought this at a used bookstore, getting to my point. I saw that it was smaller and it was less money and I bought it. And, but it didn't occur to me until I started reading this of the size and the packaging. And I, you know, getting into it, I realized, Oh, this is not what I thought it was going to be. I thought, and this is not a dig to this book. I enjoy it. I enjoy it so much that I sometimes walk and read at the same time in the city, and that's not a good idea. Um, but it's not what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more depth which is not a dig. It's not, it's, I, I don't, I, I, again, I'm not explaining it very well. It, 
I thought it was going to be educational and I thought the characters would have more gray but the characters are definitely very two-dimensional but that's not a bad thing at all i think and if you don't like two-dimensional characters then don't read it but i think the storyline is very not insightful but enjoy enjoyable and if you just want to i hate to admit it but if you just want a good guy versus bad guy and bodice ripping uh, story read this book it's just delightful and you do learn excuse me try not to kill your eardrums it it does kind of explain a little bit about architecture medieval architecture and when they were building the the cathedrals and you know it has some insight on that but <laughs> The storyline is definitely very sensational. It's just, you know, it's very sensational. And it's an, it is an enjoyable read. And it's not, but don't expect highbrow. That's all I'm saying. So I'll probably finish this this week because I have been, uh, I found a place at my, at my, in the building at work where I can go outside and get sun. So I've been taking my book and, sunning myself like a cat and reading a book. It's great. Um, it's actually a very nice de-stressor in, in between morning shift and afternoon shift. But anyway, and uh, what's in I Oh, uh, I finished also, this was a book club book actually, The Secret Life of Henrietta Lacks, which was a very good read and definitely very insightful and educational and um i usually i i find the non-fiction books that really entice me are the ones that have heart i guess and this definitely had heart it wasn't just straight science um and if you you are not sure what i'm talking about google henrietta Lacks or hela h-e-l-a cells and you'll find out or just read the book I find the book was very, a very good, delicate, and very interesting look into um, cells and our our idea of cell uh, rights. And um, it's actually very pertinent to the recent U.S. Supreme Court ruling about um, we cells cannot be patented. It's it's actually very pertinent and very uh spot on with what's going with the recent ruling and just making you think so um that's also a very enjoyable read so there you go that's my convoluted and very interesting talk about what i'm reading right now um what is on my oh my goodness See, I jumped right into the books and didn't talk about my nails. I usually do knitting and nail. Oh. I'm sorry, you guys. What's on my nails? So, uh, the Sally Hansen kind of died after a week. And I don't know, I think maybe either I, I used too much of the non-acetone remover or I don't know. It just... It started flaking off a little. So, um, I saw that Walgreens was having a sale on their sensational gel polish, and I got two bottles, and I'll show you later um, the second one. But I got Midnight Rendezvous. So, I soaked up, I did not pick it off when I saw the Sally Hansen was flaking off. I soaked it like I did with the, with the, you know what I mean, the foil, foil, and I uh, soaked it off, it came right off, flaked right off, and I uh, put on this, the Midnight Rendezvous Sensation Mill, and I actually let this set a little bit longer because in their instructions, they want you to set 
set the paint for 60 seconds, not the, not the 30 seconds like Sally Hansen. So I actually set, since it was a dark color, I tried to set it for at least 80 seconds. So uh, a minute and 30 seconds. And uh, then I couldn't just have black nails. I wanted to do some fun stuff. So I dotted. And I've been watching, rewatching the Tudors lately because I ran out of covert affairs. There's season three, but it's not available on Prime. So I'll have to wait for that. So I got in the mood to use my Rescue Beauties again. So with my dotting tool, I dotted Catherine, which is Catherine of Aragon, wife number one. Sorry, I messed up saying sorry. So she's on the top. This is actually the best. Oh, it's too shiny. <laughs> Which is never a bad thing, but you can't see the dots. She's on top. Anne. Anne is second. Anne Boleyn is second. I have problems with dropping things. So, here you go. And you can kind of see with this finger. She's in the middle. And then I dotted. Chain! Which is what I was trying to do on my feet a few weeks ago as the, as the background for my other dotting disaster. Well, this is actually not a disaster. This was actually a very good, uh, I didn't shake it as much because again, I've had these for a long time and I, with Rescue Beauty, I think she really wants you to throw away these things and I'm not going to throw them away. But if you shake it and you do this and you kind of, you can still get the nice tapestry that she wanted, the, the depth. And I forgot to do that so the, the white part didn't really have that nice sparkle but the green Anne and Catherine did so here you go and I put this on Monday night and it's Saturday night and usually by now I would have tip wear even with the Sally Hansen nope still going strong now I, I still use the Sally Hansen base and top gel but in between is sensational and I'm actually pretty happy about it so, you can kind of see the gold. There you go. Here, I'll show you the other hand. The dots are not perfect um, because, again, my nails, I had to, I had to also, uh, you know, this got gimped because of the bike. Oh, that happened after. So, I got my bike Sunday, last Sunday, um, so I can bike more. Um, and I was trying to put the front wheel back and put the brake on and this fingernail broke. So I had to redo it all. And so, and then um, I decided just to keep the same length. Oh, and then this, the pinky broke on Monday. So I, that's when I had to nubbinize it and that's, you know, I was doing everything on Monday. So this is, this I think is the best nail that I did. Everything else is kind of squashed. But so far I have been loving it. Um, let's see if you can see this. Again, it's nighttime. I'm s I am not sorry. It had to happen. You know, I could have just made you guys wait, but I'm not, I'm not that mean. It's just, now you're going to have weird lighted. So it's on the side, if you can kind of see. 
yeah. Some of them are squished. It's just how it goes. I'm still practicing. So, I have tut the tutors on my nails. So that's an, you know, again, that's an idea for, excuse me, our knit along, paint along. You know, you, you could just do dots and, you know, if they're the names of certain children's literature, then that works. Again, I'm, I'm not going to be strict as long as it's children's or young adult literature. I'm perfectly fine with that. And, you know, throughout, throughout the knit along and whatnot, we're, I'm going to keep talking about it because I'm so excited. I'm just really excited about, about this. And I'm, I'm really hoping that, um, it will get people to, it will, it, it's exciting other people as well. And, um, again, if, if you're not sure, like you want to participate, but you have some questions and you're not sure, there's a thread. Go to that thread. I don't mind questions. I don't mind them at all. And or maybe other people will have questions and and whatnot. And you know, maybe you'll have their the answer. You know, you may not be the only one that has that question. So anyway, so that was so nails. Uh, wish list. Uh, you know what? It's 41 minutes in, and I was kind of iffy on my wish list anyway because I actually did not have any grabby hands this week because I was just on a roll with coupons this coupons and sales this week. So. I'm just gonna go on to that. My uh my uh parade of guilty pleasures. Yeah. Let's go. And I don't want this an hour long. <laughs> so uh first, as I said, Walgreens had a sale on Sensational uh gel polish for like I think nine dollars or nine ninety nine. I think it was nine dollars. I'm pretty sure it was nine dollars. So I got the Midnight Rendezvous, and then I got uh, Jelly Sherbert. If I could straighten it. So, I'm excited about this one. It's, it looks like a shimmery red. It's a very shimmery red. Pinky red. I'm excited. So that will be a little bit later. So that's what I got on that. Um and then let's see, I showed you my Wolf Farms sample. And um today, so I guess this will be my et cetera, et cetera, et cetera as well. I so I had a part. I went to an open house, open house slash housewarming party to go to, and I was running late this morning because the night before, I stayed at work until eleven o'clock at night. We had a huge. We had a well. Our firm had a huge filing that we needed to do, and now there's a difference between. Trying to, to kind of give you a background of, of law, there's there's a difference between filing in the superior state courts and filing in federal courts. Um, state courts, you're demanded to follow their hours of operations, which, depending on counties, are either from eight thirty to four or eight thirty to two thirty. <sighs> Let me tell you, let me just say, when I have to deal with a 2.30 and there's an attorney that's uh, procrastinating and you have to submit it after a certain time because your runner is like doing this to you, you kind of just want to explode. Now, federal, federal filings, you can do it online. 
as long as you file it before midnight of that night, it still counts as filing that day. It's not operating on the nine to five or whatever. So um, our filing was in the federal, obviously, because we didn't file until we finished filing, well, not we, I finished filing at 11 o'clock. Um, so, which actually, you know, is not that bad. I've, you know, we have horror stories of all-nighters, which actually was last year around this time. So, it wasn't that bad, but I was exhausted. Um, thankfully, um, I caught BART train, BART on, before they turned off their trains for maintenance. Because I was already, I had a t-shirt, I had change of clothes, I had my pills, just in case I got stuck in the city. Um, because I have medicine, I have medication that I, um, could not be without, I cannot not skip it. So I was ready. I was ready to sleep in my office because I wasn't going to go into a hotel. Um, which has happened to me before. <laughs> Welcome to law. Um, so I was I was prepared, but we luckily we got it in on time. And so that night I just was exhausted. But by the time I got home, you know when you're ex so exhausted, but you've done something that was kind of stimulating that you just can't go to sleep. That was me. So. I just needed to de-stress, so I, and since people around me had had wine and beer, and there was none left for me, and I was actually picky, I didn't want the wine they had, I, I'm usually not alcohol oriented, I enjoy my wine and whatnot, but that, that night I just needed a wine this, this tall. Yeah, it, it had to be this tall. And then I ate at least, I would say, two servings of ice cream, a Ben and Jerry's. And so, and then plopped into bed. And that is why I was slow going the next morning, the, today. And my brain is kind of out of it because my body has said this is not a good idea with with the fibro <laughs> so words have escaped me um and obviously i can't remember my own podcast format um brain is jumping all around i so at, and i was at the party and i always I felt so stupid at the party. People were talking and I tried to concentrate and I tried, but it was just, it was hard. And I was actually going to stay much later and watch a bad movie with them, but I just, I, I needed to go and get some groceries and I knew that I need, you know, I needed to leave. I wasn't going to be able to, I wasn't going to be able to last. So. Um, I left there and I went to Target and I almost bought something at Target, <laughs> but I didn't. But I was kind of roaming down this, the, the aisles of Target, kind of holding my basket and kind of looking around and I'm like, huh. Huh. And I almost bought a good amount, a lot of stuff, but thankfully there was some wisdom in there and some things got left out. Like, I almost bought more Sally Hansen nail polish, <laughs> the gel nail polish, but I put it back. I did. I was a little, I was good. And then the, the foggy brain said, no, you need to go to Sally's. You need to go to Sally's beauty beauty source, which is just down the street. So I did. And this is what happened. I blame the fog. Not only did I get a Sally's membership card because you know, the discounts. I got 
Well, this is just necessary. These are necessary tools, right? This doesn't really count as guilty pleasure. I got some orange sticks or birchwood sticks, as they call it. It was actually not bad. I thought it was going to be really expensive, but it wasn't that bad. And I find that these are... I find that these are much, these these are gentler on my nails when pushing back the cuticles than the the metal than the other one. the The plastic one just does nothing, and then the metal. I think, I think that will be when I really want to do some, you know. But every, you know, every week, uh, I think these are are a little bit better. I'm I guess I'm just more gentler. I'm gentler with these. And these also help with cleanup. So I got some of these. These are tools. So that's not really guilty. That's just tools. <laughs> and then they were having a sale on, on China glaze, which I actually enjoy. There's. Um, And it's a holo. It's one of their holographics. Come on. Look at the pretty price tag. And this is called Get Out of My Space. There we go. So I'm excited. I may put this on over this because I'm not taking this off. I'm actually really enjoying this. I'm still, but I know you guys need variety. So, so here you go. More swatching. Um, and then, so my rationality for this next one is, one, I do need more gel polish because I'm enjoying it. And, you know, you can have, you can use different, brands with my kit so it, I found because of obviously the Sension Sensation Ale works really works really well well and when I was going to the salon I did use this brand and I enjoyed it a lot and then the name goes with our knit along paint along Jellish. I know you can't see it. Jellish. I don't think you can read that, so I'm going to tell you what it's called. Bella's Vampire. I honestly think, though, this is a little too small <laughs> for the price it was. Even with the, even with the beauty beauty discount it was like 12 it's originally like 14 and it's kind of like it's so small but honestly i mean meh. it's a little but if you know it's bella the vampire <laughs> which okay i admit it i enjoyed the twilight series don't judge me I actually like the Hunger Games more, so that gives me a plus, but I did enjoy the Twilight series, and, you know, my initial reaction was, oh, yum, yum, delicious. It, it was my guilty pleasure, but thinking back and rethinking it, it did give me some pause, so I'm still going to use this for our paint along, so... And actually, I was always a Jacob girl, if that makes me better. Edward was nice. Edward was great. But I felt that she had a better connection with Jacob. I think that um, you, if, and I guess maybe that's why I'm single. Um, if you're going to be with someone for the rest of your life, you should actually be friends with them and be able to have the same interest and, you know, have a good connection with them. And, 
you know, I think she had a better connection with Jacob while with Edward, it was all passion. Like they did have some interest, but honestly, it went all back to passion and then making it, which you should have, but you should also be able to talk about things after, like how Jacob and her would talk about other stuff. While Edward and her always seem to talk about how he, how she, she didn't, she shouldn't be a vampire. Oh, I guess I should not tell no spoilers. Well, I mean, it's obvious that she wants she wants to be a vampire. That's the whole that's a whole issue of the whole entire series is her wanting to be a vampire and him not letting her. That's not a spoiler. Anyway, um, I'll shut up now. <laughs> be quiet now. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Anyway. I, yeah, but I wasn't, I mean, it wasn't too bad. It was not that bad. I mean, there were some loopy you stuff that she, she came out on Monday that I was like, ooh, pretty, but I was good. I was so good. So, and these were, well, other than, well, I mean, I got a discount with the Jellish, but, but honestly, there was no discount. There was no sale, but, you know. Um, yeah, anyway. <sighs> if you have survived this far, thank you so much for dealing with my fogginess. Um, you can find me on Twitter at J underscore crafty underscore geek. You can find me on Instagram where you will see me post pictures of knitting and nails um, at J crafty geek. You can find me on Ravelry at Knitterly Book Goddess. And I'm always, I love, more the merrier with friends. So add me. I don't care. Um, we also have a group, obviously, the Nitty Digit Podcast. Um, and I, I'm i not sure about, I, I know I mentioned there was going to be a website, but I haven't heard back. So, anyway. All right, thank you so much for watching me, and um, have a great Nitty Digit nitty Day. Bye. Head underwater, and you tell